Hello everyone, Manthrall here, and welcome to the weekly update video. Now, sadly, but surely, this week is yet again mostly a patch week and also a reminder for double XP weekend, or extended, which is coming up here pretty soon. <clears throat> so this week, like I said, it's game fixes and double XP. Uh, so there is the buff bar fix, and it says quite a few of you were experiencing issues with the buff bar over the past couple of weeks. Uh, we'd like to let all you know that we have applied a cold fix last Tuesday, which resolved the issue. So happy bossing everybody, so that's actually fixed already. Uh, but <clears throat> we'll go into the rest of this. There's also a little bit of a uh, couple of other announcements yet. Uh, Premier Club, don't forget the Premier Club is back. Uh, and don't forget that you can actually win a gold membership from me by joining my Discord server. Telling me which of the three skills of between Constitution, um, Magic, and Slayer is going to be my next 99. Uh, so you all want you to tell me which skill. And then <clears throat> approximately what date. And the per person or people who are the closest to being correct will either go into the next stage or will be the winner in general. So keep in mind, you can get a free year membership for the Premier Club. And all you got to do is take part in a little bit. That's all you got to do. The Black Friday sale is coming up, which is from midnight on November 22nd at 2359 on until December 6th, you can snag a series of sumptuous bargains at Solomon General Store. So that's absolutely fantastic. There is a merch store update. So now there's a jumper, which is a snazzy shirt here. Uh, of course, they'll probably have a big sale going on <coughs> for Black Friday as well. Uh, however, Lootscape this month is... Still land out of time, which is 250 resources at a random base camp resource. 1 to 200 marks, drop from the basic drop table, which is the Prismatic Small Medium Fallen Star, Prismatic Small Medium Lamp, Spirit Ruby Diamond, Advanced Pulse Core, Spring Silver Hawk Down, Medium Small Digitary Token Box, Uncut Dragonstone, Large, Medium, or Small Cash Bag. In your view counter, goes up on Orb. Chance Base if unowned. Turkey Drumstick Weapon Override, Thanksgiver Title, Give Thanks Emote, Herald Cape Turkey Crest, Macker's Pet, a Random Skilling Outfit Piece, <clears throat> and either Nature's Balance or Loot's Cape. Live streams this week. Jaggets, please fix this. Tuesday, November 19th at U1700 UTC, Farming 120 and Ranch Out of Time Q&A. And then Friday, November 22nd, 1600 UTC game time, Scaredy, Gen uh, Scaredy Genge featured stream. Now the reason why I say Jaggets please fix this is because unless you tune in at that time, you cannot get Lootscape. Which, <clears throat> I say this because I've tried it unless there was a bug and it just didn't work, but you have to watch it that moment when it goes live I could be wrong if I am wrong please let me know because I have tried it and it did not work <clears throat> but it would be nice to have it so that whenever that stream goes live that until the stream changes people can go in watch a stream and still be able to get their lootscape because it'd be kind of nice to be able to get that <clears throat> especially when you got stuff like this going on with the hunter marks and base resources and like all this chance based stuff that's pretty awesome stuff all right so activity pets is another thing that's going on uh there's design uh changes and competition so they re plan to reduce like uh, i'm just going down to the main bullet points here <clears throat> so they plan to reduce the number of pets down to four says that the update takes up the smaller proportion of the external studio's time. This will hopefully reduce the Petscape criticism uh, as well. Three of these will come from <coughs> the top options from the poll, which is a clue scroll, area, and money-making pets, since they will probably be more notably the more popular of the options. 
They are also adding a rune score pet, which came from a very popular player thread at the time of the poll. This would not be RNG and would instead be represent rune score progress, which goes the same way to addressing the I don't want to play the content again criticisms. So it says, we feel the pets listed are the cream of the crop and will be exciting for players who are positive about the update. Next, in the same update, they want to address the issues with pets in general, which is they will be looking to make a number of existing pets into overrides, including some headliners like Eddie. Uh, this includes exploring whether there is an interest in creating generic attack, defend, death, and other animations that could be applied to all pets that currently don't act as overrides. And they will be conveying uh, us for other quality of life improvements that we can, well, that they can make sure, uh, make two pets at the same time. So there, we are to send them our ideas for improvements on forums, Reddit, Twitter, Discord, etc., etc. Um, they feel that this is a wiser use of their time than making just a ton of pets that they would end up having to fix everything later on. <clears throat> <clears throat> so, now we are supposed to send us our designs of them, and if they pick one of the designs, you can actually win six months of membership. So that is absolutely fantastic, and there's actually a link in the forum thread, so do check that out if you want to enter that. So Double XP Weekend is coming up, which starts on November 22nd. Now, unlike previous double XP weekends, this is actually being extended until December 2nd at 12 game time. So during this time, you will have 36 hours of double XP, <clears throat> which doesn't quite add up <clears throat> to a double XP weekend. It should be 48 hours, to be completely fair. But you will get 36 hours of double XP goodness, but it's going to be spread out over the course of 10 days. So simply, whenever you log in, you will have double XP. So keep in mind, if you know before you go to log out, if there's certain things you want to do, have it all ready before you go to log in, because this will, as soon as you log in, will start going. Uh, it says any unused double XP time will be removed at the end of the event on December 2nd, 1200 UTC. Uh, it says help us make double XP waste a thing of the past and get the date in your diary now. As always, we'd love to hear your feedback on how they, we think this will work and things that could actually make it better. And they say contact them via the dedicated Discord channel. So everything's going Discord lately, guys, so might be a good idea to... Uh, Get on to that. Alright, we have a decent amount of patch notes here today. Uh, combat resolved the issue affecting the buff bar, which is last Tuesday. Fixed an issue stopping action bars from being accessible. Fixed an issue stopping crushed gemstones from being dropped by the action bar. Weapon poison buff is now removed once dead. Reaper buff icon is now removed when unequipping Reaper necklace. Both superior dragon claws are now equipped when selected from inventory. Uh, general, player is now stopped from harvesting from crystal tree based on how many inventory spaces are required. Fix an issue stopping players from adding logs to the pot boiler in Severia. You will now receive a clearer message when on how to summon Penny once the pet is unlocked. Fix an issue that stopped, uh, stopped hotkeys from working if players had not finished editing their set, uh, settings. Black Knight Captain Armor will now count as Fortress Disguise if partially keepsake and activated alongside equipped armor from the set. Fix Legacy Combat Auto Retaliate in the fight caves after killing Tiz Key. Uh, fix an issue causing the First Age Tierra to not teleport players to their player owned house. Fix an issue causing geo chances in the mining level benefits section of the skill guide to be incorrectly described. Uh, anagrams and riddle clue scrolls now provide a uh, message when the player inventory is full and will not drop the puzzle box on the floor. 
Mining uh, Guild Hidden Mine is now listed as free to play. Fix an issue in the Conquest minigame where command points would always display as 1000. Treasure Hunter Bunner button gets updated when receiving a key. Uh, players can now join their friends at Ulug uh, via the social menu. The Black Pearl Maximum Bonus Experience will now visually appear correctly to calculate from non-elite skills. Bronze pickaxes no longer get added to the tool belt whilst already having one. Fix an issue allowing you to collect additional engrams without first prestiging. Ring of Kinship will no longer do while item is in bank. Switching worn objects whilst on agility bikes will now correctly dismount the player from the bike. Added sound effect to the deep sea fishing notes when redeeming XP. The XY tracker for achievement path in the activity tracker heading now displays the selected achievement in the path, not the completed achievement in the path. To keep the system in sync, selecting a locked or completed achievement in the path will now, window now also selects this achievement in the activity tracker. Content icons in the activity tracker now display as a padlock over the locked achievements and a tick over completed achievements in a similar fashion to achievement path window. Players will now see that when taking the form of a vire or camel during the minigame heist and using the unsheath option, the vire or camel model that they have taken form will no longer distort. Placeholders for golden rocks are no longer removed when building the statue of Rhynan. Uh, animate Rock Scroll can no longer be equipped via bank. Blood Amulet Flur Fury Empty can now be saved in the bank preset. Display requirement to make Recycle and Bomb has been changed. Diamond in the Rough Quest Journal no longer skips ahead of the actual quest. Clicking on the Rift will no longer trigger the achievement before starting the quest. Fix quest journal location for Oziach during the Dragon Slayer quest. And fixed an issue allowing hidey holes to be used during Evil Dave's big day out. Mobile. <clears throat> Fix an issue with the on-screen dialogue window where a user was unable to tap on the right side to continue if the dialogue window featured on item on mobile. Fixed an issue with mobile founders pack interface loading too soon in certain situations, which was causing blank screen. To prevent unresponsive behavior on mobile, the emotes tab has been removed from the social window on mobile only. Uh, mobile players can still access their emotes and transmogs from the right hand side ribbon or by dragging a favorite to the action bar slot. <clears throat> Add a Added a toggle minimap option to the mini menu of the toggle button on the mobile. Fix an issue with Treasure Hunter Prize Collect screen on mobile that caused part of the background texture to be out of position. When entering a player owned port in mobile, the visitor section of the port's HUD is no longer on by default. Resolved the problem with visitor section, which caused it to become unresponsive and unable to reopen if it was already open when you began viewing the cutscene. Resolved an issue which was preventing users from comparing two crew members when editing, <coughs> when editing the crew in the edit ship interface. You can now drag units to the compare section. Uh, resolved an issue Fixed an issue that was preventing users from selecting a autocast spell if selecting from the spell tab of the powers interface on mobile. Fix an issue that was causing the right hand ribbon on mobile to be forcibly cleared other than the main games panel in the certain in certain gameplay situations on mobile. Resolved issue with keyboard not being prompted on clown clan naming interface mobile. Graphical, uh, remove map icons for the old lodestone on Tusca. Added some chat dialogue to clarify why players can't cross the bridge in Temple of Icove. Blocking added to stalagmite in the Shadow Dungeon. Fix an issue allowing pets in the artisan workshop. 
The flames of the flaming sword effect will now look better on wilderness swords. To pause the box menu, now all refer to the Bank of Gilinor. And textual. <clears throat> this is one thing, if you guys want me to read the text fixes, I will read them. But for now, it's something I just skipped because it's just... It's just typos. <laughs> so that is actually it for this week. So thank you guys so much for watching. And until next time, later guys.